In parts of the world hard hit by climate change, people are already finding new ways to work together, putting aside some of the most brutal conflict on the planet. The young boys between the age of 16 and 24 who were actively involved in the military, the community military way of life, and like you don't graduate to adulthood without like killing a man. The only way that they can show they've killed a man is by chopping off like uh, the, the male organ, and you take that back to the village. Kenya has been plagued by a hyper-military culture since independence, but its troubles have been tipped into outright strife by what has happened to the country's environment. The farming lands of the north have been devastated by drought and deforestation. There is a government that gives us the reliefs, something like food, relief. But now there is a clash started from these foods Lands. And then there is a dams in these towns. Like armies all over the world, the young men are given no part in the decision to fight, but they're the ones sent out to do the fighting. The violence over precious land and water is so fierce, it's not safe to leave their village. How are you? Fine, how are you? How is your day? Local woman Fatuma decided to do a little thing to make a big change. She invited the boys who were set to fight each other to play each other instead at football. We need to change the face of like how do people view the youths. So are we there just to be used to fight and then just be dumped after that? We are dead and that is it. Or can we change the situation ourselves? <laughs> This football is not for clashes, it's for peace. Fatuma is trying to, to save our people. Very dangerous. Please, 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 please. But Fatuma's league came with a catch. Boys from different tribes would have to play on the same team. When they have the football matches, then we have maybe one boy who is a cabra playing as, as a striker, then another tribe playing as a defender. Then, so if you played along one of the boys who is from a different tribe, then you're no longer enemies. Fatuma's football league took off. Young men from warring tribes flocked to play together. But back in the villages, some of the elders were not happy. There was a phone call, and I was called by one of the leaders, and he said, like, if you don't stop what you're doing, then we're going to, like, excommunicate you from the community, and it, like, we will clear you. And here, clearing you means, like, you'll be dead. It is really frightening, but uh, one thing that has given me the motivation, like, to go on, like, for how long will I sit back and say, okay, fine, I will be killed, yes, but if I pull out at this stage, how will life be for my other siblings? How will life be for my mother, for my father, and for everybody else who is in Marsabat? Fatuma kept going, but on the day of the grand finale, her league nearly all came unstuck. The first goal was scored, but the other team, they didn't accept the goal. It led to the, the goalkeeper of that team walking out of the field with two of the players. Then the boys were throwing stones. At one point, he even cocked his gun. At that particular moment, what was going through my mind is what if, like, any one of them gets hurt? Like, if one of them gets killed, what would have happened? It has to be the boys who are fighting personally to take charge of their emotions. And whatever issues happen, then it can always be sorted out by talking. 
to each other. Islam mo Kristana ani do dika Islana kan musaji gesa ni. Aka si ni ka Kristana es gesa. Egi siasatan dega tan da taci wolo baf. Aye. All their lives these boys had watched their elders settle conflicts with violence. And here, over a game of football, they got to decide for themselves how they'd sort things out. The game went on. The two who were fighting then were seated there right in front of me. They didn't have a father, they didn't have a mother, so they were just on their own. So we had incidences of young boys who were initially being involved actively in the violence, now retreating back and saying no to the elders and they're not taking arms. Now we are more confident in your area so that you can move freely. When we come from town, we move freely. But in the other side, people are getting stuck. So because of this tournament, people forget everything. Others are lifting their cattle in the farm. They are grazing in base. They don't care because of this tournament. She makes us very happy. And we want just not this area, northern part. Let us go search and see other areas to make them have a fun, to make them forget about those parts. And now we are happy. We are getting our time 